basically uh, talk about what is uh, how can I what what is FAT for it to basically okay no uh, where's my laser laser here okay oh, yeah, I spent too much time <laughs> now this FAT now you already know that it is a uh, aggregate aggregate of the next block information of all blocks okay so why we need to centralize that? Why? Previous thing is just like what, I mean previous example, just like what we have nowadays. I mean, uh, I mean the method itself is the same, okay? But why it's become uh, widely deployed? And the trick is, the data is centralized. This is the trick, so why centralized is better? Now I will repeat what, I, I will explain to you why centralized the data will be good. Okay, now centralized means that except the table of content, okay, except the table of content, I will also have another data which is being loaded into our uh, computer. As if we have two tables. Two tables. Now this table is fantastic. Why this table is fantastic? It is just like an array. Right? Because every block number Okay, maybe the first block, I will use the first, the first block information for the next block, I put in the first four bytes, and then another th four bytes, I will store another next block information. So it is just an uh, array. Wow, fantastic, right? If it is a just like an array, why not we lower it into RAM and make it into a part of our program, or a part of the kernel, so that I can access it just like an array. So this is the reason why we centralize it. Now, I will, I will have the worst later, okay? I show the animations now. Uh, first of all, I know this guy, I know this guy here. This is uh, the FAT, this is the table of content. Now, let's say I want to access here, okay, here. Read Ubuntu.iso sequentially. Let's say this is our task. So now, when I read sequentially, I will first go to the table of content. The table of content tell me that what is the first block? What is the first location? Then I will go into the, that block and look up the array to find the next block after I process the first block. Then I will look up into the MAT array and then look up the next block, so and so forth. And how about the jumping effect? How can I jump? Basically, it's also follow this information. No big deal, right? And this is the, the layout okay, inside the FAT. Now, the, the random access problem, how can we solve it beautifully? It's just, what I, just like what I said, because it's just like an array, okay? I can load the things into the memory, load it into memory, and by Locating this, let's say the beginning is P, address P, I don't know where it is, but the pointer address. Then I use a pointer arithmetic four times the block that you want. Then I get access anywhere. Now the problem is whether I can fit this big guy into the memory and treat it into an array. And this is the beginning of the, of the problem. Why I said that? beginning of this lecture, that a hard disk is small, it's efficient. A hard disk is big, it's not so efficient. This is because if the hard disk is small, this FAT table will be small, and usually it can fit into the RAM. Yeah, so that the random access problem, or the random access pattern, is basically a, a RAM operation. But what if it is too big? What if it's too big? If it's too big, it cannot fit into it. I have to do um, like a partial things, right? I load part of it into a cache or partial here. Load a part of it into the RAM and treat it as an array. But if I want the unload part, then I have to uh, sacrifice what, if, what, what I have load and load the remaining part. So the bigger the hard disk, the more likely that I will break it into pieces, cannot fit into the rack. Okay? So this is why we have a performance difference if you have different 
uh, half the size. Any problem about this? Yeah, do you want to ask any problem? No? Good. Then we will go to FAT 12, 16, 32. Very interesting numbers. Why they are called 12, 16, and 32? Ah, interesting. Every 12 and 16, it means you use how many bits to represent a block address? Okay, but Uncle Bill don't like. Yeah, Uncle Gates or Uncle Bill just up to you. <laughs> so, Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill don't like the name blocks. It call a block a cluster. Okay? Yeah, so that's why you're, you're a, a bad cluster. What is a bad cluster? Okay, thanks to Uncle Bill, it means bad block. Okay? Cluster. And Uncle Bill do another thing. Really interesting. MAD32. It doesn't mean 32 bits cluster address length. It means 28. Ask him. Uh, many people argue with me, hey, uh, we, we want to reserve two more bits for uh, four more bits to do whatever things. Bullshit. Why you need it? Why, why, why don't we do, use them all? Okay? So I don't think I don't think there is some engineering problems there. I I cannot explain. Okay? Maybe you ask Uncle Bill send an email, okay, why? Okay. He, he will all say, I don't know. Or I forgot. Okay. Because uh, many years ago, okay, more than a decade. And well, so what does that mean? What is the difference if I have 12 bits to represent the number of clusters? That means this range, okay? An uh, address of, a, I mean, uh, the address that you can point to the hard disk, okay, is only having 12 bits. What is the problem? Let's do it. Calculator. Okay. So, what is 12 bits? Is 2. Oh, no. First of all, do you know that if you have a 12 bits, okay, the number of a uh, number of uh, choice or number of numbers that I can represent is 2 to the power 12, right? Do you know this? Mm. 2 to the power 12. Okay. So, that means that the total number of uh, variations of a cluster address is. 4,096 4, possibilities. Now, what's wrong? What's wrong with this probability? Two fail, right? Let's think of a cluster, a cluster or a block is, uh, uh, this computer is 32K, right? It's 32K, this computer. So times 32K times 32, okay? So this is a so many K here. So divide Another one zero two four, so we will convert k into mac. One hundred twenty eight mac. If I use f eighty twelve, this is the largest disk. It's a point. Are you satisfied with this? One hundred twenty eight mac megabyte. Okay. Can you find a device of this size now? I don't care whether it's a piece of RAM or something. Why don't we try to make a pie? Come on. No, no way. Okay? So where can you still find FAD12? Floppy drive. Floppy drive use FAD12. And before the birth of uh, FAD32, Windows 95 use FAD16. Then we will, mi we will migrate to FAD32. Okay? So I already write down the number of cluster here. So the number of possible cluster that I, I can have. Of course, there are some overheads. Later on, when you do a uh, when you do the assignment, you will know what is the overhead. Okay. So let's do some calculations. Let's do calculations. Can I support a hard disk of eight terabyte? Yes, but with some restriction. What is the restriction? First of all, I choose. The cluster size to 32K just fits this uh, internal computer here. The internal computer chose a 32K block size or cluster size. And I know that uh, we have a FAT32 with the maximum size 
I mean, not hundred five million. Every customer address is thirty thirty twenty eight bit. Okay. Then with this twenty eight bit, do some calculations. I know that I basically have a FAT three two file system. Go up to eight terabyte. Satisfy. Huh? Nowadays you can you still cannot find an eight terabyte uh, hard disk yet. Okay. Yet. I don't know what what happened if I continue to teach this course okay, ten years later. Okay, then I have to change the slides. Okay. <laughs> but 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 what? I don't know whether you encounter this or not. You have a big drive, okay? You try to ask Windows to format it, it refuses to format it into every different chip. I don't know whether you have tried or not. Okay, because you know, uh, you guys don't care about this. Oh, format, NTFS, okay. Yeah. But you know, NTFS sucks, huh? It cannot be read from a, from a let's say, from a Mac, okay? It cannot be read from your, I don't know, nowadays TV box knows how to, do, how to use NTFS. Like a Xiaomi Hot Tea, right? Yeah, it's those TV box, okay? They already know, know how to read it, okay? But, the old days, okay, many TV box don't know how to read uh, NDFS, okay? But don't care about this. Uh, basically, there's a rumor, you may have heard of it. The rumor is, starting from Windows XP, starting from Windows XP, Windows only allows you to use FA different to up to 32 gigabyte. Now we're already in a very dangerous zone. Maybe the smallest USB drive that you can buy from, from the market is already 16 gigabyte. We are very close to it. Now, who already have a 64G USB drive? If you have, can you borrow it to me? No vowels, okay? I don't want any vowels in here, okay? Anyone have? Now, 64G. I, no, I, I just plug in the Mac, okay? I plug in the Mac, okay? No lying, okay? I plug in the Mac to see whether it's a FA different two or, F or NGFS. Anyone? 64G, no one. No one has? Micro SD? Uh, oh, oh. I, I have a slot here. My oh, Michael, no, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this weekend, go to buy one. <laughs> Everyone here, go to buy one. And try where the Windows 7, Windows 8 support this size of FAD for a two file system. You will find it, yes. Okay? They they spread this, this rumors, and this is not a rumor. This is not a rumor. Really? We use, I already used it several times. I plug in a big hard disk, I tried to format it into FAD for a two, it denied. It denied my request. Okay? But now it, it we open this choice, okay? Let's see what they have done previously. Windows will allow you to use third-party tools like a partition magic or other kinds of firmware tools to format drive which is bigger than 32 G. Also, it allows you to mount. Maybe don't allow you to format. Very interesting. And also, other old file systems, old operating system allow this. Only new file system, new not file system, new OS don't allow us. And why? Because they want to fade out FAD32. Okay? And this rumor spread when we have first have XP, it's 203. Okay? And they want to fade out FAD32 starting from 203, and you know the results. They fail. They fail. They cannot, okay? And really document in knowledge base. Really document it, okay? So, their, their way is that they, they have an evil mind, right? They want to kill their own son. Okay, and, but, this, but this son is too strong, he's going to be killed. Okay. They need all kinds of a mobile, mobile storage now using it. So this Microsoft, okay, do it on purpose but failed. Now they, they try to push another, push another thing called Expect, right? How many of you heard of Expect? E-X-F-A-T. Only you. Oh, my God, only three. Are you guys engineering students? No, I was just wondering. Uh, you, you, you're a BA, right? Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, I mean the, the, the thing is, suppose all engineering
hear this and say, yeah, I know, expect, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> expect for, oh, where's my, where's his wife? You guys never heard of her? Interesting. Oh, heard of him, but never used, okay? Erase. This guy, uh, even Max supported. Okay? So this is going to be a uh, try to replace MV32. Let's see. Okay? But I think this time it will succeed. It, it, will, it will replace, okay? It, while I'm presenting this uh, slide, you will know the reason. Okay? So I think I have to put a stop because I said that I will vote for